Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another quick video for you all. This time it's going to be a lithium iron phosphate 32700 cylindrical cells. These are FB Tech 6000 MAH cells. These are brand new cells. The test that we are going to do today is a puncture test of a lithium iron phosphate. Yes, you heard me right. It's going to be a puncture test. Before we could do the test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this bug boost converter to fully charge the battery to 3.65. So we would know what would happen when you puncture a fully charged battery. If you need the cells, you could reach out to me. I'll be able to hook you up with the batteries and I'll leave a contact number at the bottom of the page that's in the description. You could reach out to the person. Now to charge those batteries, what I did was I connected an alligator clip to a high flexible silicon wire at one end and at the other end I have connected an XT60 connector and I'm going to do a spot weld at the bottom and so at the top that's on the positive and negative two nickel strips and I'll connect the alligator clip. So guys if you need the silicon wire you could reach out to me. The one that I'm using is a 2.5 square mm high flexible silicon wire. I have almost 100 meters of this wire you could reach out to me I'll be able to hook you up with a good deal. So now let's quickly do a spot weld of this battery. The spot welder that I'm using is the one that I purchased from Banggood. I did made a video out of it and I have connected this to the Amaron 55H uh, car battery. I just crimped a few connectors and I connected it to the car battery. Now this spot welder is quite good. The only thing is that you would need to make a small mod to the spot welder but works like charm once you do that. Uh, the spot weld are quite good and if you see in this particular video I'll show you how good the spot welds are. If you wanted to buy this I'll leave a link in the description below you could purchase it from there. Make sure that when you buy the spot welder you use a good quality battery either a lithium polymer battery or the car battery with which actually has high discharge current. So if you see the spot weld quality is quite good it, it it held itself quite well. Now another thing is that uh, after a few spot welds the tips get quite warm to hold as well. So I mean if you're making a bit big battery pack you might want to leave this after two minutes of usage maybe give it a rest for another two minutes. So the current the spot welding current is quite good. That's mainly because of the battery that I'm using. The better the battery, the good the spot weld would be. And if you see, the spot welding quality is quite good and uh, the, the plate did melt and it got stuck to the battery quite well. So now let's fully charge this battery and then go ahead and do a puncture test. So guys, once again, this is just an informative video. Please do not try this at home. Please do not replicate this. I just wanted to understand what would happen if you puncture a battery. And I wanted to understand if lithium iron phosphate cells are safer than lithium iron cells or lithium polymer cells. So after a few rough hits, if you see the nail has punctured in. So I did hammer it quite well and uh, apart from that I also used this wrench to hammer the battery overall without any nails. I did cut off all the videos but the battery went through a quite a good torture. After a few more hits the, the nail pierced a bit inside and then the smoke started coming in. If you see this is the close up of the video. You have few puncture holes. And the battery gets quite hot, got hot and the outer casing did melt. And I'm trying to remove it and then after, even after that the battery started smoking quite well. And uh, if you see the outer casing is melting out. But one good thing to remember is that there wasn't any fire. The battery did get hot because of the shot that we made. The nail did pierce in and it did dead shot the battery. So that's the reason why it's hot and also because the battery is fully charged. So if you see the, these are the holes and uh, the electrolyte is oozing out of the battery due to the heat. But overall I mean, there wasn't any fire. That's what I expected from the battery. And uh, yes these batteries are a little safe. I mean uh, safer than lithium iron cells. And if you see even after those punctures I still have around 1.9 volt of reading. Which is pretty good. 
So guys, if you wanted to buy this, do reach out to me. I leave a link in the description below. You could join my channel. And if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned.